The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Exodus. Moses did this. He did exactly as Yahweh had ordered him. On the first day of the first month in the second year, the dwelling was erected. Moses erected the dwelling. He fixed its sockets, set up its frames, put its crossbars in position, and set up its poles. He spread the tent over the dwelling and the covering for the tent over that, as Yahweh had ordered Moses to do. He took the testimony and put it in the ark, positioned the shafts on the ark, and put the mercy seat on top of the ark. He brought the ark into the dwelling and put the screening curtain in place, screening the ark of the testimony as Yahweh had ordered Moses to do. The cloud then covered the tent of meeting and the glory of Yahweh filled the dwelling. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting since the cloud stayed over it and the glory of Yahweh filled the dwelling. At every stage of their journey, whenever the cloud rose from the dwelling, the Israelites would resume their march. If the cloud did not rise, they would not resume their march until the day it did rise. For Yahweh's cloud stayed over the dwelling during the daytime, and there was fire inside the cloud at night. For the whole house of Israel to see at every stage of their journey. And our response comes from Psalm 84. Even the sparrow has found a home, the swallow a nest to place its young. Your altars, Yahweh Sabaoth, my King and my God, how blessed are those who live in your house. They shall praise you continually. Blessed are those who find their strength in you whose hearts are set on a pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of the balsam, they make there a water hole, and a further blessing, early rain fills it. Yahweh God, Sabaoth, hear my prayer. Listen, God of Jacob, for Yahweh God is a rampart and a shield. He gives grace and glory. Yahweh refuses nothing good to those whose life is blameless and a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that is cast in the sea and brings in a haul of all kinds of fish. When it is full, the fishermen bring it ashore. Then sitting down, they collect the good ones in baskets and throw away those that are of no use. This is how it will be at the end of time the angels will appear and separate the wicked from the upright to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said, yes. And he said to them, well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom new things as well as old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left the district the Gospel of the Lord.